everybody, welcome back to Budapest. Today, we are going behind the scenes to find out what it's like for a swimmer on race day. And I'm here with a man who knows a fair bit about that. Amsi Irvin, you are three-time Olympic champion, multiple world champion as well. Yeah? I think I got that right. You got it, close enough. It was a few years ago, so you just had to double check. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's, we're stepping on poolside now. This is the training pool. When you come here on race day, what are the emotions like and how do you pick a lane? Is this the first time that you kind of show your dominance? I don't know, you're seeing your rivals, aren't you? You know, there is an element of that. It really depends. Is it your first time here or are you a seasoned veteran? Do you know all the players in the game? So, you know, but this is still fundamentally a swim meet, just like we experienced as kids. So you have your eyes out peeled for those that you know, your friends, coaches you may have worked with in the past, or the coach that you want right now, the one that's going to help you prepare. So we have all the teams kind of lined up in their own spaces. How important is it to kind of mark your territory with, with towels, with flags, all that? You know, mark your territory indeed. It is quite important. You lay claim to your space because you're going to spend the overwhelming time right here with your team. It's a calm place. It's a place that you can be left alone, so we really shouldn't go too much further in there and disturb the athlete's peace. Okay, uh, physio massages. I'm guessing mm -hmm. they are quite important to a swimmer. They are indeed. Just the, just the effects of gravity alone can shape this body and you really want to iron it out, get it real smooth to get in that water because you wring everything out, out of every muscle. The older body is a bigger body and, um, and if you can allow somebody else to do the work uh, to, to stretch out and flatten that body, that's all the better, instead of having to do it yourself. Okay, we were talking about new technology before, and I guess, uh, well, this is one of the things. This is not just a regular paddling pool to have a bit of a chill out. This has a, a performance reason for being here, doesn't it? Indeed, that water there is real cold. Just take yourself and put yourself in the drink. That's what happens there. Cools you off real quick, reduce that inflammation, get that body recovered as soon as possible. Again, just finding ways to shortcut the body's natural process to get ready for the next big performance. Uh, a little bit more on the technology. I guess this is something that's come in more and more in recent years as well, isn't it? So it's just like performance analysis. So, I mean, what kind of difference does this make? And we're seeing it for, for all nations now, aren't we? It does, really. Technology and innovation is a big part of moving forward. And I mean, even the man right here, Dr. G, we call him, worked with him over 20 years ago. And at the time, he helped pioneer an ability to take a little drop of blood from your ear. And similarly, you check uh, blood glucose for a diabetic to see how much lactic acid you're building up, right? Just being able to do analytics from data, from video, being able to real time see velocity changes underwater, above water for a swimmer. And here we've come off poolside into the first of the chords. You just have got a nervous smile <laughs> on your face. You're kind of recalling what it was like. Yeah, really yeah. Fun. Well, it's like I'm checking it out and you, you got the time because of course, keeping with the itinerary is everything in your preparation. And here it's really, uh, th this first call room is, you wouldn't find this at most other meets, uh, but just to make sure everybody's showing up in time so that the meet can, can maintain its own schedule. Maybe some people are missing when you walk in, maybe you're the last one to arrive. And you get the nice live feed here to watch what's going on before you if you need a little bit of distraction or you just love swimming, most of the case. In here, you wait, check your pockets. Do I have my goggles? Do I have my cap? All good, okay. And now into the final call room. This is it. So, come on, I mean, at this point, are you looking at rivals? Are you just looking at the floor? What, what, I mean, what's going on? Because the, the intensity in this, this place must be off the charts. The pressure does quite build up and that door would close. Slam. Yeah, it would get closed. No one else would have access to this space. And you'd sit here and again, you'd have the race, perhaps watching going on before you, perhaps you have a teammate there that you want to see succeed. And if they do, that does something for your morale. Indeed it does. But largely, everybody's got their own little quirks at this point. Perhaps some people fidget and they're shaking their leg. Some people hit themselves really hard, get the blood flowing in those muscles. For me personally, I like to find my zen, just controlling my breathing, feeling every part of my body, making sure I'm just as aware as possible. In a sport that's about feeling another element, I just want to continue feeling, even if it's feeling the hard edge of that chair uh, and the bend of my knee. One thing's for sure, those people that are here with you, you cannot bring the best out of yourself without them. I mean, this is the last call room, but there's still more to go. Let's go for that. 
Well, and this is it. You know, you're heading towards moment of truth time. You've got the tunnel, the drama, the lights, the music's all going off, and you yep. now have to get ready to perform. From here, you hear your name and you emerge, and it's all dark. But you hear your own name, you see your own country's flag, perhaps even hear some cheers. Ever had any technical malfunctions at this point? And what uh, happens? Absolutely. This is this is where experience becomes so valuable. I've I've been right there behind the blocks, uh, tried to get ready to put on my goggles, and they snap. So lane four means you qualified quickest, but it's not your favorite lane. You've got quite a history and association with lane three, I believe. Indeed. Never at a championship meet have I found myself in the pole position where all eyes are on me. But I'm right next door. Yeah. I belong in the mix, and I can take advantage of that anonymity. What's going through your mind and what kind of advice do you have for those who are doing it today and will be doing it the rest of these championships? Just the next step of the method. When all goes quiet, you're waiting for that first whistle. And then you step up on the blocks. Away we go. What a swim this is. They take a world record. The crowd are on their feet. A wonderful swim. 